Defining Python Functions We'll find as we program that we need more functions than Python provides us with. We can define our own functions and call them again and again. Let's start with a new math function. Function f of x takes x and squares it. Here is how the function looks in Python. OK, def indicates to Python that we are defining a function. f is the name of the function. x is called a parameter of the function. It's a variable whose value will be supplied when the function is called. This colon indicates to Python that we're about to type what happens when the function is called. And the word return indicates that we're passing back a value. What value do we want to pass back? We want to pass back the square, so it's going to be x to the power 2. The general form of a return statement is the word return followed by an expression. And the rules for executing the return statement are first, evaluate the expression, x to the power 2, then pass back the answer to the caller. So now I'm going to hit enter twice, and my function definition is finished. The general form of a function definition is the word def, followed by the name of the function, and then zero or more parameters separated with commas. Next comes the body of the function, which is one or more statements often ending with the return statement. Notice that the body is indented. OK, let us call the function f. We're going to pass in an argument. Let's pass in the argument of 3. When the function is called, the parameter x becomes 3. Hit enter so the function call is executed. And the rest of the function call is that the value 9, 3 to the second power, is returned. Function calls are actually expressions, so we can use a variable to store the result. Let's create a variable called square that gets the result of calling f of 3. Square, the result of calling f of 3. <clears throat> Remember that when you execute an assignment statement, the expression on the right-hand side is evaluated first and then the answer is assigned to your variable. That is square becomes 9. OK, we've executed that. Now let's find out what square is. And it's 9. <clears throat> 